So in this video, I will show you the basics of Jet Engine. In WordPress, you have just two post types. These are posts and pages. So let's make a new post. On the right side, we have some options you can add to the page. And in Jet Engine, you can add more options and work with those options in a way more complex way. This is why we make a new post type. Go back to WordPress. Click on Jet Engine, Post Types, Add New, Name it Hotels. Click on Advanced Settings, Change the icon. It's not necessary, but you can. Don't forget to add post type to save it. And now here appeared hotels. Click on it. Add new. And on the right side you can see it's blank. You need add some data. And it will appear down here, not on the right side. You will see soon. So let's go back again to the WordPress. Click on Jet Engine, Post Types. Click on Hotels to edit it. Once more. Let's search for Meta Fields, the fourth one. Create new Meta Field. Name it Hotels. Hotels. Object type Field. It's text. You can check it's required and update post on it. Let's go back to Hotels, add new, and as you can see, you have this option right here we created right now. Now we add more options. Click on Jet Engine, Post Types. Click on Hotels, we create it. Click on Meta Fields, fourth one. New Meta Field. Name it as a hotel name. Now the second option will be automatically uh, in place. It's saved into the database, so don't use special words or spaces and something like that. And it's an object type field. Field type will be a text. And we can check it's required. Update post type. And let's check the changes we made. Click on hotels. Now click Add New, and as you can see, the options appeared here. Go back to WordPress, click on Jet Engine, Post Types, click on Hotels, so we can edit it. Let's make a new meta field. It will be Countries. So name it countries, 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 object type field, field type, it will be not text, but select. So click on select and now we create some options, name it. Be careful because it's database, first one, it's switched. So this is first option. Let's make a new option, Germany, Germany, and for third one, oh, slow it. So update the post type, and let's see the changes we made. 
click on how close add new and as you can see you can select from these three countries we created you can add more it depends on you go back jet engine post types outlaws let's add new meta field name it facilities facilities field it will be checkbox user can check more options let's add options he can choose and parking take those options and you can again check it add new and now you have checkboxes right here now we want add some pictures so new meta field name it as gallery Gallery. field type is gallery or media if you want just one picture choose media if you want more pictures choose gallery click on gallery update post type let's check it how it works choose media and now you can choose this one this one choose media and you have two pictures or you can add how many you want let's make some text about a hotel so name it as a text text to keep it simple and you can keep a text or text area or what you get is what you see it's just simple word editor but I think the best one is text error. Just keep it simple. Update post type. Let's check how it looks. Yeah, it's here. You can also change the order of the meta fields. So if I take this text over here, update it. Let's refresh the page. It's down here as you see and now it moved here so you can change the order whenever you want now let's have fun with some numbers so new meta field name it a surprise yes price field type is number Now update the post type. Let's check it. It's here a number. So let's work with step values and minimal values. You can choose 1000. You can set max value and step value, for example, 1000. Update it. And now you can click on this and it steps 1000. We are on booking now and as you can see on the right side there's a listing grid. And on this grid we will work on now. Before you start you need at least one post. So go to hotels, add new. Fill in the fields and then publish it. So you have at least one post. Now go to Jet Engine, Listings, 
add new listing, listing source post, from post type hotels, listing name hotel listing, and we do it in Elementor. Create. Another way you can do it, go to Jet Engine, Meta Boxes, Hotels, and go over here, Gallery, and you have this ID. It's the same, but I think the first one is easier for you. Another way you can do it is searching for dynamic fields. Paste it over here. Select source. It's maker data. Object field. Hotel name. And here's a result. For heading, I think the first option is better. So let's delete this. As you can see, the text is too long, so we are going to shorten it. Now click on filter field output. Search for trim string. The last one in my case and give it for example 400. If you don't see this option just go to WordPress, click on Jet Engine, you see a dashboard, scroll down and here is trim string callback and you need to check it. Now we edit it a little bit, I will give it black color, this one a bigger one, give it free, let's make it more bold. update so we created our listing now we add a new page we name it hotel page edit it with elementor now search for listing grid Paste it over here, search for hotel listing, works pretty well and you can choose how many columns and much more. If you like the video you can give it a like or subscribe and I will make more videos like that.